Hello, this is Chris, ZL1CVD. Um, today I'm playing around with uh, Slow Scan TV, or SS TV. Uh, before this I had no idea what it was, or how to do it. I was reading a post, uh, and uh, someone was asking about an FT710 and MSS TV software. And I thought, oh yeah, I've got a device that does that, so uh, I better look into it. So the first thing is, have a hunt. I had a hunt to see what SSTV software I could run on my Linux operating system. And I came across this. It's, a, it's an application called QSSTV. So that was great. Um, I read all the instructions here about how you've got to download, uh, load these packages. I'm running uh, Linux Mint. And... Uh, I had to install these packages so that I could download and compile and install the application. I went and did all that and it didn't work. Um, but when I tried to um, run it, it came up and it said that it was available as a already pre-compiled package. So all I had to do was sudo apt install qsstv. And that's probably what all you'll need to, to, to do for any um, uh, Debian-based Linux like Ubuntu or uh, Mint like I'm using here. And then from the command line, <coughs> excuse me, once that's installed, it's just a matter of running the application, QSS TV, and it comes up. Um, I haven't read any of the documentation and... Most of these applications are pretty uh, self-explanatory, so I went and had a look at options. Uh, then it's got configuration. So I changed my first name, last name, call sign QTH and locator to um, to me, and that was all good. Uh, then checked um, directories. You set your directories that you want for these different things: your SSTV images, DRM images. This thing does DRM is DRM which I don't know what that is yet, but I'll investigate. I didn't want to change the GUI, which is uh, the colours of everything. Uh, sound, yes, I needed to look into that. I made sure that I'm using Pulse Audio on my, on my setup here. And um, it, I've got the input audio device and the output audio device. I just double-checked that they were correct, and yes, they are. Cat control, uh, I went had to go down and enable Hamlib. Um, and then I'm um, using this with a FT710. The closest to an FT710 with Hamlib is an FTDX10 uh, or an FTDX101. They both use uh, similar or the same pretty much cat command set, so I made sure that was the same. I had to change my serial port host to, to dev titty USB 0, um, which I think it originally came up with dev titty 0. So I had to add the USB in there because it's just the way my OS works. Uh, I then changed the PTT control, so via the data port, cat via the data port. Never select RTS or DTS if you're using cat control. You do that when you start your computer up you, 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 it will, uh, and the application's running, it will force your uh, transceiver to transmit when, it, when the computer reboots and sorts itself out. Um, Anyway, uh, board rate I set to 38400, which is correct on my transceiver. Uh, and that was it. Oh, no, I had to go in and add frequencies. Now, this table, this configuration table for frequencies is empty when you get it. So it's just a matter of clicking the add. Uh, click add, and then you fill it in. There's some examples here. It talks about how to add and, 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 that and so forth. But I wasn't sure of the frequencies. So I went into Google, good old my mate Google and put in uh, amateur SSTV frequencies. It came up with some, and then whammo. Um, we've got Papa Alpha 8 no, Sierra. Um, it's got a website here. And what's on that website? Yeah, hopefully it's gonna load. Oh, yep, here we go. Um, and look at that, frequencies for SSTV. There's a whole bunch of them here. And he talks about um, the calling frequency, European call frequency, and so forth. So, he's, he's, so he's, it's, it's quite good. Now, I don't actually understand the difference between digital and analog. I guess that's um, 
some type of SSTV mode. I'll, I'll learn about that later. Um, but look, we're going to just use the computer to uh, receive SSTV. What I wanted to do was to send it with this little device here. This is a what is known as a Hack RF, and it's fitted with a what they call a porter pack on top. So the Hack RF is just the board on the bottom, and you can just buy that board if you want. But you can buy this thing called a porter pack, which is a which is a handy little plug-on thing with a screen. Right, I'll just turn that off for a minute so that you can see that this is what it is. So it's a Hack RF with a porter pack, and it's got the Mayhem firmware on it. Okay. Now when you press the button here, um, you'll see there's um, different options that it comes up with um, that you can do on this thing. The video is not so much about this thing, but it's a relevant, we'll see in a minute. Um, so in the transmitter settings, we can go down and there's a thing called, I'll just try and get this better into focus for you. Um, there's a thing here called SSTV. So I went into there, and when I first loaded this up, it um, gave me a, an error saying that it couldn't find the file. So I had a another stumbling block. It was like, well, what sort of file does this thing need, and where do I find it? So let's go back to the computer. I then found the mayhem wiki page right um, and it's at github github.com porter pack mayhem porter mayhem firmware wiki sstv um, but look you can google that to find it and i'll put some uh, links at the bottom of this video when you get on there if you go down this side here it talks about the applications it talks about receivers and this is basically the menu structure on the front of the thing that you saw before um, and down here we've got SSTV. So I clicked on that and it tells me that S it is a brief explanation of the SSTV page. And it tells me that it supports uh, all these different modes uh, and that it's FM is the only modulation supported. Right, that's what I needed to know. Uh, it also tells me that the image size is 320 by 256 and it's a 24-bit bitmap file. That was the other thing I needed to know. So let's go back to our frequencies here. Now, where FM frequencies I've got, okay, the transceiver I'm using is the FT710, and it does support 6 meters, so 50.68 FM is what I needed. Now, I'd already keyed in all these other ones, but I have put that in as well. Uh, that should be under SSTV. Okay, 50.68 SSTV. And I set it to wide. Okay, so now my software is all set up, and down here I go down and I select 50.68 from that frequency table. It spits up a CAD error, and this is just a Hamlib. Hamlib does spit up errors from time to time. Um, so what we're going to do is when we get to the transceiver, transceiver, we'll make sure that it's on the right frequency. Okay, so. Next, I needed to, like I said, when I first got this, uh, it was. I'll show you what it was doing. I'll just turn it off and on again. Okay, so we go there, we go to the transmit, we go down to SSTV, and it was just reporting this. No valid bitmaps in slash SSTV directory. Okay, so where do I get those from? Scratch my head. I know what the format is. It was whatever it was we read out to you before. Um, so I went back to the um, Mayhem, the Porter Pack Mayhem GitHub site. And so we just copy that link there. Copy. Paste. Go to that site. Uh, and here we are. We're at the porter pack. So, and then we've got Mayhem firmware over here. So I clicked on that. 
and I downloaded it using the code button here. I downloaded it to my web, to my computer. Then on my computer, in the downloads folder, I extracted it, and we see here Border Pack Mayhem, and then it's got SD card. I thought, oh right, so I copied the contents of this whole folder onto an SD card. Right, all of this. And I also noted that in the SSD folder, it had these three files. I've added this one. It had these three files. So I created what I wanted to show uh, on my SSTV image, which was, um, which was basically that, just a, a grubby old man with a call sign on it. Uh, that was fine. I resized that to the size, loaded it onto here, and it wouldn't work. And I couldn't for the life of me get it to work just by doing that. So what I ended up doing was, looking around here while I'm trying to explain what I did, um, what I ended up doing was going into the folder, get rid of that, I went into the SSD folder, uh, SSTV, the SD card SSTV folder, and I picked up uh, the test bitmap, and I opened it with um, GIMP, or the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Okay, so there's that test image there. Okay, we'll just center it on the screen. And then I went and grabbed my bitmap, I resized it, um, and it came up like that. So what I had to do was to change the orientation of it. Okay, as you can see, uh, on GIMP, width, height, so it's wider, narrow there. So I had to get that right. So now that we've done that, it's orientated the right way. I went back to it, and I also went, okay, open with... GIMP. Right? So now in GIMP I've got two images. I've got this grubby old man and this one here. The uh, the one that would, does work on the porter pack. So I simply went back to this image. I went uh, select all, edit, copy, went over here edit, paste. So all I'm doing is I'm pasting the image from one to the other, overriding it if you like. Now I can do this and just bring it up, or however I want to, I could, but we want to leave it the same size, okay? And then I went shift control export and called it ZL1 CVD bitmap and hit export. Now it's saying that's already exit. You won't get that, but you'll get this. And you say, right, compatibility options. No, do not want, I do not want to write color space information. This is a funny thing that GIMP puts in it. We don't want that because it'll probably not work on this. Um, advanced options, we remember from before it said that it was a 24 bit image, so we select 24 bit and export. And that's it. That's done. I then copied that exported file onto here, onto the SSTV, put it onto an SD card, and now when I went into the uh, porter pack and selected SSTV, I've got images. And if I use the little wheel, you can see there's a little wheel inside there. I use that, my image comes up. The other thing I had to do was go down and make sure that the frequency was correct. And I've had to change this bandwidth to 100k. 
and we're ready to start sending our image. So we'll go back up to here and we'll go and just discuss the actual transceiver before we send. Okay, so our frequency is 50.68 and it's FM, so let's go to the transceiver. So here's our FT710. Uh, we've got it set to 50.68. We're on FM mode. Uh, one of the things... Hear that? That's squelch. When you go into FM mode, you're going to get that hissing carrying on. And that can be pretty annoying. So to change it so that the RF gain control... Oops. To change the RF gain control so that um, it works as a squelch control, you need to go back into the menus, and we need to go into, you would think, radio settings, FM, but no, it's not. It's in operation settings, general, and here it says RF squelch. That's the one you want to change. Normally, as we can see in yellow here, that's the default that it will be set to. It will be set to RF, which is good for SSB and so forth. But we're on FM, so we set that to squelch. Go back, back, back. All right, so we just want to make sure... Turn the volume up. So we're all set. Transceiver that's receiving and sending the... Uh, cat via the sorry the uh, USB it's USB interface through to the computer here and displaying it over here we should be all good to go so now on our porter pack we simply click the start button oh. and away it sends And there's our image coming through. Okay. Then over here. I haven't got the right antenna on it. It's actually a 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna. And we're on uh, 6 meters. I'm just hoping that it ends up being a not too high SWR on 6 meters. But this device here, the Porter Pack, is only putting out in the order of 10 milliwatts or something. Um, but as you can see, we're successfully sending and decoding, uh, sending SSTV and decoding it. All right. Well, you can see how it works. And uh, now you can go and experiment with your own kit. All right. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe. Cheers.